Wow, you are almost as big. Almost. It's a little bit smaller. So now if the controls are the same. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude. That is, that is savagery right there. It's going to be hard as shit, though, to hit things with this, especially underwater. Apparently, I just killed something. Yo guys, what's up? So today we are in Ark Survival Evolved and the update just came out and I just covered the new creatures. So if you haven't checked those out, I'll probably leave a link in the description and in the comment section of this video for you to check out some of the new creatures. There's a secret about that one that you don't know. Ho <laughs> ho. So let's get into the video. We're going to go ahead. We're going to make a little tech base with the moon pool, the power generator, all of that fun stuff. I have the engrams now and I am on my single player uh, save, which is not going to impact my multiplayer, multiplayer, wow, I can't talk, my multiplayer series in the slightest. Guys, I also want to make mention now that the Ark of Winter servers are going live tomorrow on Saturday. Uh, they're being hosted by Host Havoc. They actually got in contact with us and they were like, yay, we can, we can, we can get your stuff set up pretty fast. And within like, I think it was like 10 to 24 hours, they had stuff set up. So a huge shout out to those guys. Thank you so much for being incredibly professional and uh, helping us out in our time of need. Guys, show them some love. And uh, if you do need server hosting, obviously give them a chance. And uh, why don't you go over there and see what they have to offer. By the way, I'm not being paid to say that either. All right, so we have a vacuum compartment structure. Let's see what the deal is with this. Let me just players only real quick. I would imagine that Moses would be a problem. Okay, all right. That's kind of cool, I guess, so we can do this. Oh, we're also going to cover the tech Moses. I almost forgot. So this is the vacuum compartment. I can go ahead then. And if I continue to make my underwater base, I should be able to use that inside a base and it will it will free up the oxygen or the water and make it into oxygen, I think. Let's just let's do some experimentation real quick. Okay, so this is a moon pool then. This is where you would enter a base. Vacuum chamber, moon pool. Okay. Let's go ahead and see if we can put this down somewhere. The tech generator. Yes, we can put it down right there. If I activate this inventory and I go right there, there we go. Oh, look at that. It makes, okay. That makes sense. All right. It creates a vacuum chamber. And then we have, well, we did have a spot right here we could enter, but I guess, uh, I guess we need to, uh, there we go. All right, now we have a way to enter. Aha, there we go. Ah, sneaky. All right, so now how do we pump the water out of here, though? That's the question. Do we put it in here? Oh. Okay, so we just created a vacuum chamber. Things are kind of bugging out right now because we put them on top of each other. Okay, all right, and if we... Ooh, this is a little bit buggy. You can really see under the map. That's uh, that's a little bit weird. Let's open this right here. Okay, yeah, we opened that, so now we have this open again. But we need to make more of those right there. Oh, okay, all right, that works too. Make more of this. Let's just see. Let's just do some playing around real quick. I can keep opening these and... There we go. All right. Now this is unpowered because it can't reach the generator. But I can enter through here. Enter through. There we go. All right. Open that. Now we can open this. And we can open this right here. Okay. All right. So this is pretty easy then. So it just automatically sets the stuff up. Okay. That's pretty sick. So now we have an underwater base. Now if we open this one, our base will flood. Which kind of sucks because our generator... Yeah, if we if we turn our generator off too, we lose all of that uh all of that stuff too. Shit. So then maybe I can just put a moon pool down. Like if I open this right here. Yeah, so I should make a moon pool right there instead. Maybe I'll just go ahead and I will demolish this. Oh, this stuff is gonna be expensive. It's gonna cost a lot for people to actually run these things. Oh god. Now if I activate the generator's range, I can make this so it will activate all through. All right, now I can go ahead and put this down right here and 
I will attach you right there like so. There we go, and now we have a moon pool right there. However, how will I make it so I can enter my base from the moon pool? Because uh, it's not looking like it wants to do its shenanigans right now. Let's see, we have all of this stuff right here. Maybe we can make it so... Let me just open this real quick. If I put this right here, I unlock... There we go. Open that. Open that. There we go. Now we have a moon pool into our base. That is awesome. That's like Subnautica level stuff right there. So we have a little bit of an underwater base there now. We bring this up. How much health do these things have? 50,000? Really? That's a ton of health. What, what do you have right here? You have 50,000. How much health does a tech generator have? 15,000. Holy shit. That's actually some crazy shenanigans. And then we could, we could put something up right here if we wanted to as well. Like that. And then we could open that. Like that. Nice. That is so freaking cool, dude. Holy shit. But you're still affected by the cold down here. I would imagine it would be more cold, actually, under the water surface, to be honest with you. Because, uh, well, obviously, it's going to be incredibly cold with all the cold in the in the walls and stuff. That's pretty cool, but I want to take... I'll, okay, we're going to check out the Tech Moses saddle. That's what we need to do now. We're going to go down through here. And I'm going to spawn in the Tech Moza. Actually, I'm going to get it saddle. Then I'm going to equip a Moza with it. All right, so here is our fancy little Moza. Not so little Moza, actually. Let me go ahead, though, and I will give you... I will give you the Armored Tech Saddle if I can spawn it. Let's just see. There we go, the Tech Moza Saddle. All right, let's go ahead. Let's equip you with that. You're going to look beautiful. Oh, shit, how do I do... Oh, saddle, right there. Easy enough. Look at that. Easy. So easy. Now let me go ahead. I'm going to give you some element. I have to put it right there. And then there we go. Okay, put it inside his inventory. There we go. Now it's nice and glowy. His armor is all set up. Dude, that thing is that. Oh, that looks amazing. There, That is nothing short of amazing. Let's get on this guy. Let me see what your stats are. Does it get changed at all? No, nothing's different. Wow, you have a lot of health. You're like the giga of the sea, though. How big are you compared to the lead seethies, I wonder? Wow, you are almost as big. Almost. It's a little bit smaller. So now if the controls are the same. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude. That is that is savagery right there. It's going to be hard as shit, though, to hit things with this, especially underwater. Apparently, I just killed something. Alright, so I decided to bring the Moza up and see what he looks like in, uh, in against this guy right here, and the... Oh, wow. Alright, little guy, so I brought you up to the surface just to get a look at that guy compared to you. You're obviously a lot smaller. The Great Albino is way bigger than this Moza, actually. But I also needed to give him more element because we were running out. And, uh, well, you don't want to run out of elements, especially with this guy. Now, let me, let me see. God, look how big it is. Holy shit. Said every porn star ever, apparently. <laughs> you know what? Before we get into this teleporter, I want to do something. I want to look at the tech tier base real quick. Actually, the tech underwater base. Let me let me just bring this little guy straight over here. Hey, come, come on. Come on. You, okay. All right. I guess you're kind of just stuck in the air. That's perfectly fine. Let me just move on over all right here to our Mosasaur. That is level 300 right here. You, come here. All right. Now you're going to be a nice guy and... Bring me down the right. Oh, 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 there we go. All right, good guy. Good guy. So, an overview of this, basically, guys, to make sure no one messes this up. I think I mentioned this before, but just to be sure, I'm going to mention it again. You cannot add tech... You can't add, like, the normal tech structures to this. So, like, the moon pool is its own object that you need because all of these objects obviously have walls that right now you can't see them. Now, if I power this up, if I... Oh, no. Oh, God. I almost demolished it. If I power this tech generator up, which apparently it won't let me do anymore. Uh, hang on. So if I try to put any tech structures on this right now, it just won't work. They don't link because these things right here are their own structures. Let me show you in the engrams real quick, which the engrams are right here now. Let me just show you. Oh, no. I got to give myself all the engrams. So now that I can show you, I'll show you what I mean. All your tech structures are right here. You have your windows and stuff. I don't think any of this can be attached to it. I haven't tried these windows, but maybe they're a possibility, but uh, I highly doubt it. But it seems like only these cube ones right here work. The vacuum compartment and then the moon pool itself along with the generator. 
Seems like those are the only real uh, real structures that actually work within the underwater base stuff. So don't like go bulk up on foundations and stuff because you don't need those. You don't need those underwater. Like you can place them, sure, but they won't latch to this underwater gear right here. Like it just does not. It doesn't work with it. You can't combine different tech structures with underwater tech structures because this is a completely different technology. The walls don't even exist right now. You can see this is just a metal frame. This this actually looks like the frame of like the um the the water system, the pipes and stuff. That's what it looks like. And then when you activate the generator, obviously then the walls all materialize. I don't know what happened, but apparently I'm not allowed to use... There we go. Now I can use it. God damn it. It was like annoying as shit. But let me let me just show you now because you guys saw this activate before. But if I access this thing's inventory and I actually power it, the walls appear. And that's quite simply because... Well, it's a completely different material entirely. Now, I don't really agree with the with it just appearing. I feel like they should have made some kind of animation or something, you know, something that would have been nicer than this crap. And it should also, by default, open wide enough so it powers all of the walls because you have situations like this where it still can't reach it. And increase it to 10x. There we go. Now we have it. So, no. Guys, don't try and put down tech structures or, or walls or anything, at least. I know it seems like these walls are bigger anyways. Like, these structures are a little bit bigger than your stock foundations and stuff, too, for sure. They look like it, at least. But you guys let me know your thoughts on the tech building stuff. I think it's really cool, but at the same time, I feel like it's really limited. Because, like, you can only use these cubes. And you're really limited to where you can put them and stuff. And, like, if your tech generator runs out of power... Well, I mean... You're basically... You're boned. Because that's what's gonna happen. And you're doomed, you're gonna drown, and it's gonna be a bad time. Anyways, now I am going to go to my Moza, and we are going to look at the tech gen or no, not tech generator, the tech teleporter. Keep that in mind, guys. I don't wanna I don't wanna hear any comments about people that lost like a bunch of stuff because they drowned or they tried to make tech stuff and they didn't have the stuff to make the uh the underwater bases. It's incredibly important, guys. Huge highlight. Well, that's it on the Tech Moza. I mean, it was kind of cool, but, uh, well, I mean, at the end of the day, it just has laser cannons and stuff on its head. But this right here, the Tech Generator, and the platform right here, which is basically an obelisk platform on steroids that can teleport you anywhere to other bases as long as they have a teleporter. I assume your own base, actually. Well, uh, yeah. Yeah, you d yeah, it's definitely your own base. I'd say it's your own base. Or maybe you can, like, do, like, uh, the tribling stuff. But it takes three teleport sh or, uh, three, uh, three shards of the, uh, uh, element stuff. Hang on, let me just show you again. Yeah, three element shards. That's what you need to use this to teleport. Mammoth, you get away from my generator. You're gonna get supercharged, and before you know it, it's gonna look like you walked into one of those freaking electrical, uh, hoobity waddy things that make your hair go frizzy. Yeah. But I can't use this, unfortunately, because I do not have a, uh, a teleporter somewhere else on the map. So I think I'm just gonna end this here, guys. Hopefully you learned something from this video. I definitely learned a lot that this right here looks amazing and holy shit. So with all that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, well, then remember to leave a like. It helps me out a ton. I appreciate it. An absolute dick ton. The Ark of Winter servers will be live tomorrow. So I look forward to seeing all of you over there hanging out, doing stuff. I will be over on the servers as well. We will have four servers, modded PVP, all kinds of different stuff going on with all the different servers. I'll be hosting events and recording over there as well. And, uh, well, huge thank you to Host Havoc for getting us set up with that. They did that really fast. So if you need if you need a server host, definitely check them out. Uh, not being paid to say that, by the way, guys. This is just my own opinion from what I've seen from them so far. Uh, you guys can see what's up with the servers and if they're stable or not. And choose from there if you want to. But either way, like I said, leave a like if you enjoyed this video. And I will see you in the next video.